Amid the Renaissance architecture of the medieval city of Bergamo, they are once more living under lockdown. A viral second wave is sweeping through northern Italy. This city was Europe's ground zero, COVID-19 circulating freely for almost a month before its dangers were known. Almost half the population contracting the virus with predictably devastating results. But at the city's new and ultra-modern main hospital, they are seeing something rather unusual this time around. Far from being overwhelmed, Dr. Marco Rizzi's infectious diseases unit has the spare capacity to take COVID patients from elsewhere in the region. What seems to have happened here is that the traumas of spring have generated a noticeable degree of immunity in the local population. When you have a, a, one big wave, the second one is going to be a little bit smaller, but you pay a price for that. And we are going to... You are going to have a lot of people who die. The price they paid was terrible. Bodies stacked up, unburied, the elderly often denied treatment. Military vehicles carrying the dead to cemeteries where they were buried in haste and without mourners. Almost 5,000 dead in a single month in this one province. But more than six months later, the immunity levels do seem to be real. Professor Giuseppe Remuzzi has been testing extensively for antibodies. With around 40% of people here now carrying them, he shows me maps of new infections that paint their own picture. You see that now those that were yellow are red. It means uh, new cases for 100,000 inhabitants. And Bergamo is uh, particularly yellow. That means that the virus is circulating much less then in the area of uh, Varese, Como, Monza, Brianza and Milan. But another factor may be at play here, that after the terrible shock of what happened in Bergamo in the spring, the reason this hospital has not been overwhelmed a second time is that people here are taking COVID awareness and social distancing much more seriously than they are in the rest of Italy. On the near-deserted Piazza del Duomo in Milan, they are suffering from this second wave significantly more than in Bergamo, just 30 miles away. The economic heart of Italy is virtually closed. Even in Bergamo, actual herd immunity is still a very long way off. But as dusk falls and curfew approaches on another evening without bars, restaurants or nightlife, they are wondering if dodging the worst of one wave does anything more than set you up for the next. James Mace News at 10, Northern Italy.